Hey, watch fans, Brad from Brent Miller Jewelers. And today I have for us two Grand Seiko models here. These are the Soko editions from, I want to say last year. I don't think it was two years ago now that they were released, um, but they have been out for a little while. However, we have not had either one of these in stock. And so I saw both of them show up in stock here over the last week and thought, uh, let's do a quick this or that and compare them and really let me know which one you prefer. So on my left is the SBGA 427. And here on my right is the SBGA 429. These are uh, two Soko editions representing the end of fall. Both have vertically brushed dials, a uh, little texture on the dials uh, to represent the uh, the bamboo forest uh, at the end of the fall season. So um, obviously you get the, the color of green there as well for the, uh, the bamboo. The shades of green are a little different as are the dial colors. So again, vertically textured or vertically um, textured dial, a little bit lighter green on the more, I guess, charcoal gray dial. I think both of them look really fantastic. I like both of them. And I figure if I'm trying to decide which one I like better, that maybe it's a good video. And uh, I'll put it up for uh, folks uh, that view to uh, let me know what you prefer and which one you like. Um, I think this could be a uh, could be a toss up between these two. I don't think there's a definitive answer on this one. So real quick. I measured the case here kind of diagonally across above the crown to below the uh, the nine position at 38.8. So 39 millimeter watch. I measured it at 12.6 millimeters thick, 46.5 millimeters lug tip to lug tip, 19 millimeter lug width, tapering down to 18 millimeters at the deployant clasp. So 18 millimeters here at the widest part, dual trigger push button deployant clasp, Exhibition case back with the spring drive 9R65 movement. We get a 72 hour power reserve out of that. Signed screw down crown is going to offer us 100 meters of water resistance. So really just wanted to take a quick look at these side by side and ask you which, which dial do you prefer? Uh, again, same case. Oh, and I did weigh these. Uh, stainless steel case and bracelet weighed in at 148.2 grams. So date window, nicely uh, framed there at three o'clock. Your power reserve indicator here at, uh, I guess we'll call that 7.30ish. I will say the, the gold colored Grand Seiko logo, I think does stick out or, or pop a little bit more on the darker dial. It is the same logo. You just don't see it as much against the, uh, the more, it's not a white, but it's a very light, light silver gray dial on the uh, the 427 here so i'll throw these on wrist here real quick but again side by side do you like the lighter 427 with the darker green or do you like the darker dial on the 429 with the, the lighter green so let me know what you think in the comments I will say I am a fan of seeing an all the all brush bracelet. You don't see a lot of all brush bracelets on Grand Seiko, so um, I am a fan of that on both these models. I, I like both of them. I really do. Uh, let me throw them on wrist here. Again, I have a six and three quarter inch wrist. Move my light. I think both of them fit quite well, especially with the 46 and a half millimeter lug to lug. So as always, greatly appreciate you viewing. If there's anything I can do for you, email me, Brad at BrentLMiller.com. And uh, let me know which one you like, the 427 with the lighter dial or the 429 with the darker dial. Thanks for viewing, and we'll see you in the next video.